Good evening, my friends, and welcome back to what might be the longest 2% of the game. Last time out, however, we got to the top of the Pantheon of the Sage, and we met Sly, the Snail Sage Sly. We need to learn how to beat him, though, so let's have a look. Okay, we didn't last terribly long last time. Faster, isn't he? Oh right, okay, he comes down and then he go he comes down and then he slashes up. Ah, that's a good that's a good one to take. got range, doesn't he? Okay. Having the long nail definitely going to be helpful here. He's got height on that one as well. Oh, we got him stunned. Do you know what? <laughs> Ironically enough, Sharp Shadow probably is really helpful here. <laughs> okay. Pretty good opener, to be fair. Pretty good opener. Tell you what, quick slash. Useless. Hmm. Quick slash is useless, but it is very handy against Zote. Can we learn to beat Zote without quick slash? Hmm. Long nail, really handy. That's hard, isn't it? I mean, we're still experimenting, right? So, what what if you were to get rid of Long Nail and just do Sharp Shadow? Because then you just then you're just in a consistent build for the whole thing, anyway. <clears throat> Long Nail's really important for um, Galen, though. I think Long Nail's pretty important here as well. If you got rid of Quick Slash... Get rid of Unbreakable Heart. Getting rid of Unbreakable Heart's the spicy one, right? But like, can we... Could we do it with Unbreakable Heart? Without Unbreakable Heart? Because then we get to have Long Nail for the whole thing. We get to have Sharp Shadow for the whole thing. Let's try it. Bad so far. I kinda don't hate this fight, right? Oh, what's he doing now? Oh shoot, we're now into the real fight, are we? Ah, what is this? Hmm. Okay, 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 right. That's just like the final dive bombing bit. 
We can beat him, though. We can beat him. And that was with two hearts fewer than we would usually do. He doesn't seem too bad. Like, it's not the worst. Zoat feels harder. You have the advantage that you know he's the final one as well. Okay, so we can we can heal a triple from him. Although, on the other hand, we definitely need to not be using the... Yeah, okay, he got us that time. Um, we need to not be using our soul for magic again. We are going to be needing it for healing. We uh, stun him twice, and then we go. Fine. It's, it's one hit each time is what you get. Oh, I kind of anticipated that ending more f faster than it did. Oh, no, 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 I need to not use magic. No magic. Stop using magic. Yeah, you also can't dash through when he's doing that. Great. We only have enough time to hit... Uh, we only have enough time to heal once, though. Or rather, we only have the soul to heal. <laughs> Not sure how to do that final phase reliably, but we can get to the final phase pretty okay. Ah, yeah, okay, got me there. 
Okay, so we can take we have enough to take a triple. Meh, not quite. Right. But. Going into him too soon. Okay, so now we can take a double here, and we have enough life to be able to. how I did it first time you know I don't know how I did it he hit me like six times there though right in the final phase okay we've got to work out how to get that we've got to work out how to get that not a brilliant start So, full health into the final phase now. Uh, nearly. No, we can't. We don't get to full health into the final phase. We can do it if we can do it if we have enough health. If we have enough health. Ba, 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 ba. Quick slash for the win. Fine. Come on. One warm up on Zote. Zote might actually be the hardest, uh, the hardest enemy in this pantheon. Maybe. Might well be. Gotta be down, nearly down now. Right, can we get two here? Uh, no, we only got one. He's close though. Got him. Okay, and we'd go into Umumu with like six masks, something like that. Nah, five masks, which is okay. That's okay. Right. Well. It also means that we don't have to swap our stuff out between benches and things. So let's give it a go. 
Let's give it a go. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, right. Begin. We're gonna get it all the way up there and then beat slide perfectly. Are you having the long nail at this phase? Well, that also answers that previous question that we had as well, right? That. Uh, no, you can't just focus even between the fights. Oh, what am I doing? Come on. On to the collector. <laughs> See what we can do here. <laughs> Having long made against the collector might well be helpful as well. The fact that we've got so much better at this first half of the um, at the first half of pantheon here. It's kind of like... It's kind of like those extra two masks. We sort of don't need them because we don't need to worry about getting hit so much. Which I suppose is the ideal, right? Okay, so going into God Tamer full health. Yeah, much easier, easier, in inverted commas. Much easier than, um... Much easier than finding a spot to um, heal and time to heal is beating the enemies whilst ending the fight on full health still, right? Not worrying about healing, beating the enemies without needing to heal is clearly the superior strategy. So actually, those extra two lifeblood hearts, or those extra two hearts from Unbreakable thing. You shouldn't, you shouldn't need them, I suppose, is the idea. That. Oh man, he's taking, giving me two there. You know, that being said, you can't just, like, not respect these... You can't not respect some of these enemies, yeah? Like, God Tamer, Grim... Uh, you have to respect them still, right? Because they will still ruin your run. If you run. Ah, indecision. Indecision got us there twice. And now we've ended up on the wrong side of the thing for our troubles as well. Oh man, he's hit us for a double there too.
That was pretty close, I, th I feel. Nearly there. Got him. Okay. Galen, Zote, Umumu, Hornet, Slide. That's it. That's all we gotta do. Let's go, Galen. Oh, got him. So we get to, we get to do Zote full health, excellent, and have a little bit of soul. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. Right, Zote. What are you gonna do first? Got us there with a dummy. Okay, we can take a double here. Oh, he's gonna go down. He's gonna go down soon, though. That's him done. Right, so we're on Umumu. One mask off, one mask off. Okay, perfect. We can do this. There we go. Full health. And Umumu's gonna go straight away for the... Oh. We got unlucky with that one. Okay, come on. Don't at me with this. Okay, excellent, right. Hornet time. Okay, Hornet's just a straight up fight. We just gotta we just gotta outskill Hornet. Take some heals here. We we'll get. No, we don't have time for a triple, unfortunately. Got her. Okay, so we get to go into Sly with only two masks down. Fine. Here we go. I wasn't expecting to get straight back here immediately. Huh? <laughs> 
I thought he was going to do his backspin. Okay, great. This is it, this is it. Can I do it in four live? Focus. Complete the Pantheon of the Sage. 11 minutes 49. That's the one. That is 111%. God Seeker mode unlocked. Challenge the gods of Hallow Nest. Take your place at their peak. I don't even know what that is. So we got this unlocked now. Wow. This, my friends, is the final percentage. The final percentage right there. Amazing. Amazing. Right. We'll keep these charms in. But yeah, check that out. Completion 111%. I can't believe we got Sly so quickly, to be honest. I thought I thought that was going to end up being a lot harder than that. But okay. That's brilliant. We've got one more percent, and then we go and beat Radiance, and then we're done. Plus or minus Path of Pain. I was thinking, you know, this God, this uh, God Home mode has already taken a long time. The only problem with Path of Pain, and this is purely a, this is purely an operational problem, right? Path of Pain doesn't have any benches, so you can't save it, right? The Pantheons, you've got to do a lot of attempts on them, but that's okay because an individual run only takes like 10 minutes. Path of Pain, if that's going to be like four hours. I've, I've heard on Reddit, the average is like four hours, six hours, whatever. If that's going to be four hours, I, I actually have more of a logistical problem in terms of how do I physically play the game for that long? Um, because, yeah, spoiler alert, I don't actually sit down and record six hours of content in one go. <laughs> and there's no way to save the game. So, I might have to like, I don't know, I might have to like mod it to put in like save um to put in what do you call it like Don't save states oh gods of hallowness graciously the open the way to this greatest of pantheons thy voice grow closer and thy resonance draws us even higher pray will we attune will we until that spark of divine light shines from the deepest darkness Okay. Oh, Enraged Guardian. Fine. Oh. Oh, no. Ah. 
Yeah, so Enraged Guardian obviously does. Ah, two damage per hit. We beat him last time with some amazing, uh, some amazing quick slash action. But uh, yeah, okay, right. So, Enraged Guardian is the first one. Well, hang on. We know there's going to be nine of them, right? Can we work out what they're going to be from this list? There's a few that we've still not fought. I don't know how that works, but okay. Um, False Knight, Fail Champion, Hornet, Protector Hornet, Sentinel, Master Monster, Strider, Flute, Worm, Mantis Lord, Mantis Lords. Hive Knight, Broken Vessel, Lost Kin, Nosk, The Collector, God Tamer, Crystal Guardian, Enraged Guardian, Traitor Lord. Oh no, wait, hang on. Oh no, Mantis Lords we've already done. So Traitor Lord. Soul Tyrant. White Defender. Oh, there's a dream version of Dung Defender. I don't think we've ever gone and done that in the main game, have we? Should we go back and do that one? Where would he be? Would he be where we fought Dung Defender? We look into that, okay. Watcher Knight. No Eyes. Markoth. Well, that's like, that's going to be like eight of them, isn't it? Okay. So yeah, we can do, we can do some practice on some individual, on some individual guys there. But do you know what? The first guy we've got to beat is the first guy, right? No point doing practice on the first guy. There, you might as well always just do practice on the first guy out here. Ah, dipped a little bit too low there. Oh. Okay. First guy down. You get room to heal for three. Right, and then it's lost kin. Fine. We beat Lost Kin first time, right? So... Didn't we? Hang on, did we beat Lost Kin first time? I don't really remember. Oh man. He's a jumpy lad, isn't he? And there's a lot of that sort of nonsense going on, isn't there? Okay. Yeah, very, very fast fights on this Pantheon. Okay, Enraged Guardian, not too bad. We should be able to do that without taking too much damage. No time to heal because these guys will not allow it. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, we got to heal twice. That's nice. <laughs> no. Ah, we just kind of went into him there. Alrighty. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, good. That's exactly how we want to end that fight. So, Enraged Guardian, we can do that whilst ending up full health with plenty of mana. Time to take out one. Blur, no. Ah, oh, he landed on top of me. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Well, I mean, it seems hard now, but, you know, if we can beat. Pantheon of the... What is this one called? Pantheon of the Night. If we can beat Pantheon of the Sage, we can beat Pantheon of the Night. Right? 100%. We're already able to beat Enraged Guardian at full health, so no problem. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If we've beaten Pantheon of the Sage, that's got to be worth a subscribe, right? Like, that's brilliant. Okay, I will see you guys next time. We've got 1% left to complete but next time out i think we might leave god home we might check out we're already in the waterways anyway um white defender that's something to go and look into i think okay i will see you guys next time have a great day bye for now